Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm checking out very cool clip-on tuners. As you know, I believe it's very important to play any instrument in tune. Not that I always play in tune, but at least tune your instrument so it's in tune from the beginning. I am a big fan of the Peterson tuners. I love the Peterson Strobo clip-on tuner. I have reviewed it before and I'll put a link to where you can buy this on Amazon. Now, having said that, I've been sent two clip-on tuners lately that I think you should be aware of. I love this one, it's very fast and very accurate. Let's see how accurate the other tuners are and also why I recommend them. Let's see what's special about those. So the first tuner I'm gonna show you is by the same company that made the Klingon pickup, which I recently reviewed. It sticks on with a magnet on the guitar right here. And this tuner uses the same technology. In fact, it's on the guitar already. Isn't that clean? It doesn't mess up your headstock. That's because it also uses a magnet. There it is. So it literally just pulls on. It's very strong. This is 3M tape on there. So it shouldn't leave a mark on the guitar. If I get any problems, I will update the description below, but I'm assured it won't leave a mark. It's on the back of the headstock and it snaps on like that. You cannot even see that it's there. And I actually had it stored in the case as well because it's not making contact with the headstock. So it shouldn't leave a mark on the guitar like a clip-on tuner would. So let me show you the quality is really nice. Again, this is on Amazon, the Klingon tuner, very nice screen. It looks great, easy to read. Let me tune the guitar and see how well it tunes. So it's very fast. Now let's just check that tuning, see how accurate it is. Really good. Really good. Let me compare it to this tuner, the strobe tuner. I always would use this for setting up and intonating a guitar, but let's see. It says it's very slightly flat, but you can't really hear it when you listen. It's not really audible. Okay, let's check that. So do you think that is more in tune than the other one? There's a big argument about, well, guitars are not perfectly in tune with themselves anyway, and that the way you play affects the tuning. So some of the strobe thing could be, like, it's almost too good. You know, like, like, a, like this tuner will get you 100% there, and the strobe tuner will get you 105% there. I don't know, I like to know that I'm using a strobe tuner, and I've always loved the Peters and stuff. I will always use it just because I have peace of mind. But if you don't like the way it looks on the headstock, and I wouldn't blame you, this is a great option. And you could even put it anywhere, you know, other places. It doesn't have to go where I've got it. So it's just very convenient and very, very cool looking. And the fact that you can just leave it on the guitar at all times means you'll never be without a tuner, right? You can just live on there at all times. That's really great, I love that. Very impressed. Okay, next one. Now this tuner is kind of big and bulky, I'll be honest with you. And uh, also on Amazon, but it's got a nice clip on there. And the reason I like it is it has a large display, but it also has a metronome built in. You know I love to practice my timing and work on my technique and use a metronome. I use the same Brenner, the wearable metronome, I use the metronome on my phone. They're great tools, but sometimes I forget to use them. Well, if you have the metronome in your tuner, you're always gonna have one. You're more likely to practice with it. A great idea. So let me clip this on. Now I've noticed with this one, you have to clip it on so it's on the front of the headstock. So this is even more visible. It's always gonna be like that. Okay, so not ideal for performance, but for practice, it's fine. I would recommend that the company, they allow you to clip it on the other way around. You're still gonna see this though. So it's not visually um, very appealing, but I love the functionality. Let me show you. So once again, I'll tune the guitar. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's very fast. And yeah, not 
quite as accurate as the Peterson, obviously, it's not a strobe tuner. But let's see if it's accurate enough. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's great. And the great thing about this is the metronome functionality. I simply press down on this button, hold down, and press play. How cool is that? You've always got the metronome with you. It's loud and clear. I love it. That's so handy. You know, I believe that all clip-on tuners should have a metronome. That's such a brilliant idea. Great gift for someone, great practice tool. You know, you might have amazing timing. Even if you have amazing timing, it's great to practice with a metronome, right? I do a lot of solo shows. I'm really working lately to practice with a metronome and a drum beat and loops. I really want my timing to be great. This is so convenient because I can tune and I can practice. Say you're backstage or between shows, and you put new strings on the guitar, and then you can sit and practice your timing for 10 minutes. Now, I know you have an app on your phone, all this stuff. You have tuners and metronomes on the phone. They're great too, but you can't beat sometimes having the physical thing and actually having it there on the guitar. So something to think about. Are you interested in clip-on tuner? Are you interested in the Peterson, which I love and would always highly recommend? Are you interested in something that you can't see and is always on the back of the guitar, which is the Klingon? Or are you interested in something that you can use to practice your timing with, which is the Musado? I'll put links below so you can check them out. I think they're all great, and I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Have you got a tuner you could recommend to me? Please let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if I get any more cool uh, gadgets or tuners, of course, I'll have them on the show. So look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, stay tuned and stay in tune. Bye-bye. <laughs>